Hello and welcome to this application note on the determination of the residence time distribution in a twin screw granulation process. The purpose of that tutorial and application note is to demonstrate the use of the Extravis 3 unit to determine the residence time distribution in a continuous twin screw granulation process. In that context, we will investigate the influence of a tracer color. So we will see if it matters if you take a red tracer or a green tracer or a yellow tracer. And we will investigate the influence of the tracer concentration. So to say, if you take 1% tracer or less or more, and if that has an impact on the residence time distribution. And as a real life example, we will investigate the influence of the feed rate of the uh, twin screw granulation process on the residence time distribution. Why using the Exorbus 3 unit? Well, it's the most simple and reliable solution available on the market to quick and easy access the residence time distribution in any process that could be granulation processes, extrusion processes, can be any process where you have access to your process stream, to your material stream at the end, at the point where you want to measure the residence time distribution. It consists of an industry-grade industry camera and has a standalone software which does the image analysis and during your experiment you can obtain and see already your residence time distribution. We would like to thank the team around Professor Peter Kleinebude from the Heinrich Heine University in Düsseldorf in Germany for their strong support in making these experiments possible and without that support the whole video and tutorial would not have been possible. The continuous twin screw granulation is a process by which a granulate is produced from a powder in conjunction with a liquid or liquefied binder. This process is used in several industries such as pharmaceutical industry or food industry. In general, the powder is given onto screws which can consist of conveying and mixing elements. The powder gets mixed on the turning screws. A binder is typically added to soft via a liquid feeding port and as soon as the binder gets mixed with the dry powder, the agglomeration happens and the resulting particle size is then determined via the different parameters like the ingredients in the formulation but also process parameters like screw speed, feed rate and screw configuration.